We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And we have an artist of a show today. Ooh. Angela? Hello. Yes. Being an artist with a green pencil. <laughs> We're having a Vilcabamba art community gathering here today, courtesy of the lovely Maya. And, and yes, who? And yeah, David. Oh, David. That's cool. And people have been coming in and out all day just drawing and creating. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's nice. That's awesome. Maybe we can Check show it. them some of the pretties. Yeah, look at that. And then sometimes um, Maya and Yasu host art exhibitions as well because there's lots of artists around in town and then they just put up like a big kind of show of lots of people with different pictures and they have like a party and music. So this is like a different one this time, is everyone's actually creating the art at the event. It's fun! Awesome! Okay, well, in the meantime, maybe we should show them some awesome figs that I collected from our fig tree. Check it out! So we planted these fig trees, I'd say like six to eight months ago, like they were just babies. Check out this bad boy. We just had our first rain and everything just grew like 10 feet tall. And since it rained, I just went around all the fig trees. <laughs> this is crazy. Ripe, amazing figs, everybody. Unbelievable. 100 fig trees. If they're producing little bits right now, I can only imagine what they're going to be producing in like three years from now. We're going to have a fig madness here. Maybe we could sell them dried or something. We'll see you in a bit. Check it out, everybody. We had Angela on the phone with her parents, and look what I gave her. Amazing. Wow, this one especially. Fresh figs. they got little ants crawling on them, so I'm trying to like find the ants and blow them off. We are so blessed. Oh, there's the parentals again. Mm. 
Sweet. So sweet. They're almost like dried figs at the bottom. Whoa. It's so sweet already. Amazing. It's the love, it's the soil, it's Ecuador, it's all. <sighs> now we got some serious footage of our horses, and you'll definitely see those black eyes on that pretty little pony we got. Isn't that right, babe? Yes. Somebody commented today that maybe he's going to lose his baby coat and become dark like his mum. Is that even true? Do horses lose their baby coat and come in another colour? Let us know if you know. Post your answer below and uh, check it out. And Barbie's running right at me. This is awesome. But it looks like. Hi, boy! show the nice people cherries interesting colors look at the little pretty <laughs> he's such a brave one coming up to me like that mm -hmm. hi cherry boy Cherry boy. Hi, love. Hi, pretty. <laughs> Look at this. Look at everybody. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Was I doing that right? They think we're very peculiar, Papa, don't they? Just mm. holding machines up. Why are we holding these funny machines? You're the pretty. You're the pretty. You're the pretty. You're the pretty too. Come here, boy. Crazy shim shams. I've got a consultation with someone right now, babe. Uh -oh. I gotta get going. We'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, we're back, and we've got some prominent artists here in Vilcabamba from Loja, right, babe? Yeah. Do they live in Vilcabamba or in Loja? In Loja. Okay. So, can you introduce us? Uh, this is... Oh my god, it's you! Uh, the three of them and one hour. Wow. Yep. Amazing. Yep. And were they always drawing from when they were young boys? Uh, yeah. Since they were young, and they were. Since they were young, they were. Does he have a website? Uh, no. no website. Can he draw a dragon right now, really quickly? Puedes dibujar un dragón rapidito, ahorita. Eh, he thinks so. Gracias, thank you. Muchas gracias. All righty. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you again at the Raw Food World.